and welcome back. All right, today we're going to continue on with my whole collection series. Today we're doing drawer five of my untried. So these ones are mostly blues with just a couple here and there that aren't blue. Now I've actually acquired a lot of blues in the last few years. Um, I never used to wear a lot of blues. I had maybe half a drawer, like a Helmer drawer of blues. And now with this untried drawer, I have three drawers of blues, which is very surprising to me. Um, it'll be really interesting when I do my reorganization and I start my declutter series, how many blues I actually truly love and want to keep. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. First one I have here is Fancy Gloss. It's my choice. This is a charity polish. I got this one from my friend, Laura. How pretty that is. Beautiful. If I remember correctly, this is a jelly-ish formula. I don't quite remember, but I think it was a jelly formula. That's pretty. Look at that. I love those um, beautiful flakies. Okay, and then we have Cuticula. I got this one from Krista. This one is Dreams Take Flight from PPU. Now, I remember when this one came out, um, I was on the fence about getting it. I was going to get it. I wasn't going to get it. I ended up not getting it. And then if I remember correctly, this actually came back for Rewind. I could be wrong, but I feel like maybe it came back for Rewind and I was on the fence again and I ended up not getting it. I could be wrong about that. Um, anyways, and then Krista said um, she didn't like it, so she gave it to me to see if I like it. Um, I believe if I believe the formula is not the best on this, which is why Krista didn't like it, and which is why I was on the fence in the first place because I'd seen you know the swatch videos of it, and the formula didn't look the best. So we'll see if I ever get around to actually wearing this. If I do, I'll probably use undies. Okay, then we have Color Club. What is this one called? All inclusive. This is not a blue, obviously. That's pretty. I don't remember what the formula is like on this one, but that's a pretty color. Okay, then we have Night Owl Lacquer Winter Wonderland, a very soft baby blue, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I was actually on the fence about getting this one for a long time, and then I came across an old. I, it was either an, I'm pretty sure it was a YouTube video of Joy Dumpling wearing this and it looked so pretty on her nails. And at the time that I got this, it was like on their um, like last call. And so I decided just to grab it cause it was on clearance. And then I'm pretty sure I had um, like every fall they do 10 or 20% off. And so I got it on sale. I'm on the fence. Um, I don't know if I'm ever gonna actually end up wearing this. I just don't gravitate towards these like very pale icy baby blues. I wouldn't necessarily say this is icy, but it's kind of on the verge. It's got that pretty shimmer. It is pretty in the bottle. If I remember correctly, I want to say this is a very sheer formula. So I might end up using undies for this. We'll see if I ever get around to actually wearing that. Okay, then we have Glam Polish. This one is the White Wolf. I got this one from Maisha um, when we did a little mini swap was either last year, maybe it's been two years by now. I wanna say it's been two years by now. Look how pretty that is. She sent me a, um, a trio of the Witcher um, collection. Look how pretty that is, that shimmer, very pretty. Okay, then we have Triple Shine by Sally Hansen. Got this one from the dollar store. Look at that pretty shimmer, very pretty. I'm not a fan of polishes that have the caps like this that come off. The caps, like they're big and bulky. You can't, they're not really comfortable to use, but then you can take them off. There's a couple brands that do it. I know Butter London does it. Um, I have some older dollish polish when they used to be in the big, um, when they're in the square bottles and their tops were like that too. I'm just, I'm not a fan. Let me know down below what you guys think of that. Okay, then we have OPI's um, Chopstick and Stones. I've been hearing about this polish for a few years and I finally um, picked it up. Look how beautiful and rich that is. This will be gorgeous in the winter. Beautiful. Okay, then we have Beesney's Lacquer, An Act of Love. Look how pretty that is, that beautiful shimmer. It's got that green shimmer and then it's got that bluey purple shift. Very pretty. Okay, then we have Zoya's Hudson. I picked this up from TJ Maxx when I was with Barb and Krista. Krista and I each picked up one of these. Um, I thought it was pretty at the time, and then once I swatched it, I'm not a fan. It's very frosty, and I do not like frosty finishes. 
Um, so I'm not sure if I'll ever actually wear this um, or if I'll just end up decluttering it. I might end up using undies for this and then just do like one sheer coat because it is sparkly when you swatch it. It's just not my favorite. So we'll see if I ever get around to actually wearing that. Okay, then we have an LA Colors Color Mania. This one is called Chaotic. These Color Manias have those pretty um, contrasting shimmers in them. Look at that, very pretty. Okay, then we have a color department from TJ Maxx. This one is Supernova. Look at that, pretty. This is actually very similar to the Sally Hansen one. So we'll see whenever I do my declutter how they compare to each other. Okay, and then we have Emily Damali already done. Got this from, um, from my friend Laura. This is uh, a jelly formula a few years ago. I think it's been a few years by now. Um, Emily Damali did this whole jelly collection and they all had these white glitters. So this one I might end up using undies when I um, get around to it. Okay, then we have new color 981. I don't remember if this formula is more jelly or if it's more of a cream. I can't remember. We'll have to see what my swatches look like. But the color is pretty. Okay, then we have a glam polish. This is Merlin. I have so many untried glam polishes, you guys. But look how beautiful those red flakies are. Is that soft blue base? This is borderline leaning too pale for me, but it's kind of like on the cusp of dark enough that I enjoy it. And then with those um, beautiful red flakies, I just, I don't know, I couldn't resist. Look how pretty that is. Okay, then we have Orly's Hunter Green Cream. Their creams are so good. Look at that beautiful green. So, so pretty. Orly has really nice creams. Okay, then we have Salon Perfect sequin sisters got that shimmer it's got those glitters very pretty um so for those of you that don't know salon perfects i always end up replacing their brushes they're very skinny which i don't like i haven't replaced this one yet um, i use kb shimmer replacement brushes um, you can keep the cap if their brushes fit the cap so you can keep your cap um, use a kb shimmer replacement brush um, also, in case you don't know, the KB Shimmer um, replacement brushes are the exact same as the Glisten and Glow replacement brushes. However, KB Shimmers are 10 cents cheaper. So if you, you know, frequently purchase from KB Shimmer but not Glisten and Glow or, you know, vice versa, you have the option to choose um, where you want to buy them from. Just know that they're both the same and that they fit the Salon Perfects. Okay, then we have OPI's Galleria Vittorio Violet. That's pretty, it's got that pretty shimmer. I don't remember how this translates on the nails. Looks like it could be kind of jelly-ish, so I'll have to see what my swatches look like, I don't remember. But it's got that pretty shimmer. I hope that shimmer comes through on the nails. Okay, then we have Essie's, what is this called? This is beautiful. Feeling Amped, look how pretty that is. Look at that shade of blue, that is so interesting. I think I have another one in here. Yes, that's, look at that. They're so similar, oh my goodness. This is um, OPI's Duomo Nights, Duomo Days Isola Nights. They're so similar. I'm gonna have to um, do a comparison of these whenever I get to my declutter series. But look, they're just, they're so, so pretty. I don't know how I ended up with both of them um, and being pretty much identical, it looks like. Okay, then we have Essie's Off Tropic. I was trying to get a hold of this for a while. Um, Carolina showcases polish. Maybe it's been a couple years by now in one of her videos. I don't remember what the, to what the topic was. If it was like her favorite Essie's, I wanna say, might have been what it was. And she showed this and it was just so beautiful and I could not find it anywhere. On all the discounted sites, it was sold out. And then I finally found this on one of the sites. Look how pretty that is beautiful okay and then we have phoenix and this is rainbow fluorite pretty sure this is magnetic it doesn't say magnetic on the bottom but i'm pretty sure this is magnetic we'll have to see what my swatch looks like look at that 
Okay, and then we have Orly's, I wanna say this is Brittany. Yeah, it's Brittany Beach. Look how pretty that is. This is a very popular Orly. I can't remember if this is a cream or if this is a jelly. I feel like this is, I've seen a lot of people wearing this recently and I feel like it's a solid um, cream. Look how pretty that is. That's a beautiful shade of blue. Very popular for good reason. Okay, then we have Cuticula's Before the Last Petal Falls. So pretty, look at that. Those beautiful platinum flakies and those little um, pink flakies, very pretty. Okay, and then we have another Glam Polish. This is Crescent City. Look at those flakies. I'm just in love with Glam Polish with their flaky polishes with their um, toppers. I just, I don't know, I just, I love this brand. Okay, another glam polish. This one is, we came, we saw, we kicked its ass. Look how pretty that is. That's a fun shade of green. Okay, and then we have, oh, this is so, so pretty. I wanted to wear this one um, in the fall and I didn't get to it. This one is, crow's toes i got this one from olga and this is called mentally unstable hella hollow customs march 2016. look how pretty that is i'm gonna try to get to this next spring because look how pretty that is okay then we have another cuticula this one is by its glow pretty that is look at those glowing flakes and that um you know it makes it look like a cohesive shimmer when they're so glowy like that so so pretty wow and then in that kind of like uh, kind of like steely blue gray base so pretty okay and then we have a Cadillac or I got this one from Krista this one is galaxies and I cannot believe she didn't like this Look how pretty that is. Beautiful. So glowy. Oh, my doggies are chewing on something. They're, oh, she's chewing on a toy. Um, this is OPI's, OPI grabs the unicorn by the horn. OPI is another one that has beautiful creams. OPI and Orly, I feel like have the best cream formulas. Well, and Zoya, obviously. Zoya pretty much has beautiful formulas, too. Whereas um, Essie's and China Glaze are more hit or miss with their formulas. But I feel like OPI, Orly, and Zoya's are just across the board. They have amazing cream formulas. Okay, do you guys remember when years and years and years ago when Essie was all the rage? People would not stop talking about Essie. And their entire collection was just Essie's. And their formulas were so, so bad. I remember before I discovered um, discount sites, I bought a couple Orly's from, I'm guessing like Ulta, for like $13. And then the formulas were such trash and I was so confused. Now they've upped their game and for the most part, their formulas are, are pretty good now. They're consistently good now, but before they were just so bad. Okay, then we have Cuticula's Luminous Stone. That's pretty, look at that. Okay, and then we have another Bee's Knees Lacquer. This one is the Crone. Look at that, very pretty. Kind of similar to the one from before that I, what was this one called? An Act of Love. This one has more of that green shift, obviously, and this one is more just like a blue. But I feel like the bases look very similar. Okay, then we have Essie's Don't Burst My Bubble. Look how pretty that is. Like a soft periwinkle-ish purple, purpley blue. Very pretty. Okay, then we have, shake this up, um, Noodles, Noodle Nail Polish. This one is Eskimo Kiss. Pretty that is. I think I must have gotten this one from maybe Nicole. Or maybe I, 
I've only ever on my own purchased, I think maybe like two noodles, two noodles nail polishes. I, this might've been one of them, but I also might've gotten this one in a um, swap with someone. That's pretty, look at that. They're pretty little, um, are they little flakies or they glitters? Little flakies. Actually, they look like they, looks like there's little glitters and flakies in there. Very pretty. Okay, another Bees Knees Lacquer. This one is, I want to peel you like a potato. <laughs> it's so funny. Look at that pretty glow. Very pretty. I really need to get more of these Bees Knees Lacquers worn. I have so many of them. Another one. This one is Pride. This is, okay, so there was, um, where's the third one? They were all like very similar. When I saw them in the bottle, I was kind of, I got them all at the same time. I was very, I don't know, I was very disappointed. And I feel like when I swatched them, they are different. Um, this one for sure is different. This one is the Act of Love. These two I feel like were a lot um, closer in the bottle. I'll do a comparison on all three of these. I feel like these two in the bottle look identical, but I I want to say on the nails, they did look different. This one looks like it's, it's hard to tell, but on camera, but in person, it looks like the crown pulls more purple, whereas this one pulls more blue. Um, and this one is pride. So I will show you all three of them together. Um, I have to see if I end up keeping all three of them when I do my declutter. Okay, then we have OPIs. OPI Nails the Runway. I got this one because of Krista. She had shown me, I kept seeing this one at TJ Maxx. I never picked it up. And then when I was visiting her in Idaho and she had, um, she swatches all of her polishes on paper. And I saw one of the swatch for these and it looked, I mean, you can see it's kind of like a jelly. Um, it was very sparkly. Like it was super, super sparkly. And so um, this is going to be a beautiful topper, I think. Like just a little sheer sparkle over an, a coordinating color maybe like um well i don't see anything here in particular that i would want to put this over but just very pretty very sparkly okay then we have blue bluebird and this one is front and centaur i cannot believe i have worn this one this one is so gorgeous this one and the green version um rock of sages i need to wear them they're just so beautiful but look at that their shattered hollow i believe that's what the formula is called is just so so pretty this is from march 2022 ppo look how beautiful this will be gorgeous in december i think i'll pull this in i usually try to wear in december month i try to wear at least one blue manicure so maybe i'll try to pull that one in okay then we have simple colors um pop it I think it's pop it the number the name is kind of obscured at the bottom look how pretty that is some of the newer um simple colors now have yes now have nice paddle brushes and the older ones had skinnier brushes and if i remember correctly kb shimmer also fits simple colors i'm not 100 percent certain on that but i think the kb shimmers also fit the simple colors let me know. So my Walmart, um, not my grocery store Walmart, but the super Walmart always carried simple colors. They were always behind on collections. Like, um, like for instance, the sheer jelly, the sheer matte jellies that they had a few years ago, it was like a year and a half before my Walmart finally got them. Now my Walmart completely got rid of simple colors. I'm so upset. So now I have nowhere to get these simple colors. Um, let me know if your Walmart has also gotten rid of simple colors. I'm very sad about that. Okay, then we have Essie Flare for Fun. Look how pretty this is. So, so pretty. I know I have a few of these kind of like dusty blues um, between like a couple different um, brands. So when I do my declutter next year, we're gonna have to compare a lot and um, see if I can, if I need all of them. Okay, then we have a blue bird from last year's um, holiday um, advent box. This one is Catch My Drift. 
This one, if I remember correctly, is not my favorite. Um, it's kind of like an icy blue and then it's got that purple shimmer, which in the bottle, it does look pretty. But on my nails, if I remember correctly, I didn't love it. So we'll see if I end up keeping that one. Okay, then we have Polish for Days Memo to Me. Beautiful. This was from their Villains collection that they did. Was it this year or was it last year? Once Upon a Nightmare 2022. So this was their um, Villains collection from last year. So, so pretty. Look at that. It's so gorgeous. Polish for Days has um, beautiful flaky formulas too. Okay, then we have Emily Damali Give the Act Up. How pretty that one is. Beautiful. Look at that glow okay and then we have essie's flight of fantasy this one is so pretty i remember um seeing this one and really really wanting it look at that so so pretty it's like a soft mintyish blue which at this point i have a few of essie's kind of like minty blues um blossom dandy um, there's another one, um, apple something, I forget what it's called, but I have a couple of them at this point, so I'll do a comparison of all those two. Okay, and then we have KB Shimmer's Soul Blue. There's that. So this one, I'm a little, <laughs> this is stupid, but I'm a little salty about this polish. So they had originally the purple one, um, it was Soul Something, I forget what it was called. It was a purple version, it was very popular. And then they did the blue version um, called Soul Blue and it was supposed to be limited edition. And then once it's gone, it's gone. And so I had wanted it and I missed it, it was gone. And so I found it on, I wanna say it's called, um, I think the website is Color for Nails. They still had a few left. So I bought it from Color for Nails, um, which I believe, I could be wrong. I believe that might be a Canada brand, a can, um, Canadian ships from Canada. I could be wrong, but I had to find it from elsewhere. And then I got it in um, between, I, it was the only polish I got. And with shipping, it ended up being like a $19 polish. And then KB Shimmer ended up putting it back on their website and it was no longer limited edition. So I was very salty about that. Just my little uh, spiel about that. But look how pretty it is. I feel like I'll probably wear undies for this whenever I do wear it. Okay, then we have China Glaze Splash Splash. I might have gotten this one from the dollar store. This one looks like it's kind of jelly. Well, it looks like it's definitely jelly. See that? And I don't remember if this dries satin matte. Oh, did you hear that? That's very jelly. I'm gonna have to look and see what my swatches look like on that. I might end up decluttering that. Okay, then we have China Glaze Jagged Little Teal. This is very, very pretty. Ugly bottle syndrome, but it's beautiful. Kind of looks similar to, actually, oh my God, look at this, you guys. Look at this. This one looks like it, it's kind of hard to tell because of the ugly bottle syndrome, but it looks like it might be a tad darker. So we'll definitely be doing some comparisons on those. Okay, then we have Wildflower Lacquer Stolen Flame. This one I'm pretty sure I ended up getting for re um, Polish Pickup Rewind. This is from um, April 2022 PPO periodic table. And then I'm pretty sure it came back for Rewind and I picked it up then. Look how pretty that is. Look at that shift, that shimmer, beautiful. From what I remember, this has a pretty thick formula. Okay, then we have Essie's Transcend the Trend. That shade of blue, very pretty. It's like in between a blue and a green, so pretty. Okay, then we have this beautiful cornflower blue by Essie. This one is, um, what's this one called? Pret a Surfer. Oh my God, I remember getting this like three years ago and I haven't worn it. Look at that, so pretty. It's like a, like a dusty cornflower blue, which I'm really into cornflowers. I know Krista loves cornflower blues too. Okay, another blue bird from their um, box last year. This one is Believe in Your Elf. That's pretty, look at that. That's so pretty. Okay, 
And then we have Cuticula's home is where the haunt is. From Pew Pew. That's pretty. Look at that. Those platinum flakies. Very pretty. Okay, then we have a scoff law. This one is needs to be shaken. This one is a star man. I got this one from Nicole. Look at that. Very sparkly. Okay, then we have OPI's um, ring bearer. This is such a beautiful color, but this is a jelly, which I guess I didn't realize when I bought it. I just looked at the color and it's very clearly a jelly. Very pretty color though, and I don't have any jellies like it. Okay, then we have Color Club's Feeling Under the Weather. It's actually a very similar color to the OPI, but it's a cream. Very pretty, look at that. Okay, then we have Beesney's Lacquer House on Haunted Chill. Oh my God, I've had this for years. This was a sister to uh, When Witches Don't Fight or When Witches Fight, something like that. And then this was the sister blue version. Very pretty. Okay, then we have Lily Pop Posse Lacquer and Further. I think I got this one in a D stash. Look how pretty that is. Wow, that's pretty. I don't remember what this looks like on the nails, but that's very pretty. I have to see what my swatch looks like. Okay, then we have a Color Club um, Holographic. This one is... What a gem. Picked up a bunch of these when they had their $5 sale, which they have frequently, if you guys are um, curious on their website, they frequently have $5 um, sales or $5.50, something like that. Very pretty. Their holographics are very popular and they're very um, good for stamping. Okay, then we have Salon Perfect Yacht Ayata. This is one of their neon pops. Okay, then we have Boo Bird. This one is How You Doing? This is a magnetic. It's from one of their Halloween advent boxes. Okay. Polish for Days Midnight Marble. So, so beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. I need to pull this out for um, winter this year. Okay, NCLA Dead and Gorgeous. I got this one from Olga a couple years ago. She sent me two of these gorgeous kind of like shifting um, shimmers and I wore one of them and I never wore this one. The tag's about to fall off or it did fall off. Look how pretty that is. Look at that. Beautiful, very similar to the um, Sally Hansen one and then also the a new color, or color, color department. This one looks um, like pulled more purple though. Okay, Bees Knees Lacquer, a lion with a thorn in his paw. Beautiful, I can't believe I haven't worn this one yet. So pretty. Okay, Katie Shimmer's tapped out. This is a reflective. I do not love Katie Shimmer's reflectives. They're very, thick and they're very um just thick <laughs> okay then we have polish for days rose finch this is gorgeous i love this polish look how beautiful that is okay then we have bluebird lacquer shut your pie hole i got this one in a d stash a couple years ago and i still haven't worn it but look how pretty that is shut your pie hole Bluebird has gone through many, many bottle changes. I think I have like four or five different bottles from them. Okay, then we have MLF Lacquer, and this one is Ocean's Rainforest. Very pretty. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, then we have Beesney's Lacquer Tartarus. Look at that. So pretty. And then we have a Dollish Polish Mini. This one is Bite My Shiny Metal Ass. I have a 
lot of untried dollish polishes from so many years ago. It's been a few years since I've been interested in the brand. Okay, then we have BZ Slacker Little Boots. Look at his little boots. Look how pretty that is. I've had this one for a couple years too. Very pretty. Okay, Cameo Colors Talus 1 or Teos 1. Might have gotten this one from the D stash too. It's pretty. Okay, then we have Enchanted Polished Lakeview Cabin. Pretty hollow. Got this one when they were going out of business. Okay, then we have China Glaze Wait in C. C as in S E A. Look at that pretty. Okay, Wildflower Lacquer, Mr. Wildflower. That's pretty, look how rich and beautiful that blue is. Okay, Night Owl Lacquer, Drupal's Best Blowing Gum from the Honeydukes Sweets Collection. These formulas on this whole collection are so nice. I have like four or five of them and they're all so pretty. Look at that shimmer. So pretty. Okay, then we have China Glaze Sapphire Up. So pretty, look at that. This is gorgeous. This is gonna be so beautiful in the winter. With a top coat, wow, it's gonna be so beautiful. Okay, then we have Supernatural Lacquer Gabba. Got this one in a dish to add, in a stash a couple years ago and I haven't worn it. And every time I look at it, it's so pretty. But I just don't have the desire to wear it. And then I look at the swatch and I'm like, oh, it's pretty. But I just, I don't want to wear it. I don't know why it's pretty. I don't have anything quite like it. Those flakies are pretty. Um, I just, when I look at it, I just, I don't know. I don't feel like I want to wear it. So I might end up decluttering that one. Okay, then we have Emily Damali Begin at the End. Look how gorgeous and glowy that is. That's beautiful. I need to wear this one. Okay, another Emily Damali. This one is The Missing. Look at those flakes. I was really into Emily Damali for a while and I had was buying all of her flakies and shimmers. Okay, then we have Poetry Cowgirl, He Rides at Night. I don't remember if I got this one from PPU or if I got this one in, a D, in the um, D stash. I wanna say I got it in D stash. Okay, then we have Bluebird, and this one is Riding Birdie. Look at that beautiful hollow. It's kind of like, um, kind of like a tealy hollow, I guess. It leans more teal. Beautiful. Almost done, just a couple more. Okay, then I have a little mini Orly. This one is Gumdrop. I don't think I realized this was a mini when I bought it. It was on sale. I got it on one of the websites. Um, it was like on clearance for like $3. And so when I got it, I was very surprised that it was a mini. It's kind of cute bottle though. <laughs> okay, then we have Simple Shine. Um, yeah, Simple Shine. And this one is Too Cool for Pool. I got this one from my friend, Laura. Look at that shimmer, this is pretty. Very pretty shimmer. Okay, and then we have KB Shimmers with the band. This is so beautiful. I still can't believe I haven't worn this. Every time I look at this, I'm like, oh, I need to wear that. Look how pretty that is. Okay, and then we have Polish Fiji. I got this one when they were putting those gold flakes in everything. So, so pretty, and I still haven't worn it. <gasps> Oh goodness, but look at that, so pretty. Okay, two more, another polish with the gold flakes. This one is Imperial Theater. So this one is more of a dusty blue. Whereas this one's more like a kind of sky blue, I guess. Very pretty. Okay, and the last one is Emily Damali. This is Inner Peace. This one I'm pretty sure I got from Olga. Um, there's this one and another one that I feel like I've decluttered and then I uncluttered them because they're just so pretty, but I don't know that I'll ever wear it, so I might end up decluttering this one. 
or recluttering if I had decluttered it already. Very pretty, just not sure if it's something I'll ever get to. All right, guys, that was everything in drawer five of my untrieds. Um, if you have any comments, leave them down below. Th um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.